Apple Juliet. Welcome to 41 Questions with Apple Rebel. Thank you. Okay, so let's dive right in. You speak English, French, and Spanish. Do you speak Arabic as well? No, unfortunately. I used to, but I don't speak Arabic anymore. How many indigenous African languages do you speak? Um, unfortunately, none. <laughs> I don't speak any. Your favorite word in every language you speak? Uh, my favorite word in English would be... Um, <laughs> pretty, <laughs> I guess. And French would be... Um, merde. <laughs> and uh, Spanish would be... Hola. <laughs> Have you ever Googled yourself? What it, shocked you most? I Googled myself and what shocked me most was um, one day I Googled myself and I saw that apparently I was dating Chris Brown. <laughs> I actually liked it. <laughs> the craziest rumor you ever heard about you? The craziest rumor I've ever heard about me was that I was dating Chris Brown. I have a crush on Chris Brown, actually, so, yeah. <laughs> so do the haters shove it off your ass dance? Oh, wow. Hannah, shove it off your ass. Hey, good afternoon. Oh, hi. You're welcome to Ricky's program. Thank you. Please, can you have a seat? Let me take you over this way. Okay. That's way, Mom. Thank you. Okay, so what surprising thing a male fan has ever done to get your attention? Okay, so the most surprising thing that a male fan has ever done to get my attention was to send me nudes on Twitter. The guy is a stalker, like he's that bad. Okay, <laughs> yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, tell us, with 1 being the least interested and 10 being the most interested, a regular gym routine, do you have one? 1 to 10? Um, yes, uh, 8 for gym, yeah. Bungee jumping? Bungee jumping, 5. Sex on the beach? Uh, sex on the beach, 10. Learning Mandarin? Um, nine. Yeah. Feature in an Indian movie. That's ten. Yes. Okay. So, what's your favorite go-to outfit? My favorite go-to outfit would be jeans and um, sneakers and any T-shirt. Yeah. How do you define beauty? Beauty is. Um, I believe beauty is the confidence you feel about yourself. Whatever confidence you carry is what makes you beautiful. That's the beauty. What's your daily beauty routine? My daily beauty routine is um, washing my face regularly, like morning, evening, wash my face with a facial wash. I have to apply a toner and moisturize my, my face because I have um, dry, dry skin, so I always have to moisturize my face and try to avoid makeup when I don't have any activities happening. But then I always have to wear a lip gloss, lipstick, and eyelashes. Yeah. Hi. You're welcome to Ricky's Power once again. Thank Might you. I'm just glad to get you a glass of wine while we set up for your That would be nice. Thank, Thank you. you ma. Thanks. So, tell us about the Juliet Ibrahim makeup line. Okay, so um, my eyelashes mm -hmm. line is Shades by Juliet Ibrahim, and uh, I launched it because I love lashes. I'm wearing one of them right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, any, pe any personal favorites? My personal favorite is. So I think it's just it's, it's sexy and the fact that it is it looks natural and it's still full is is what I love about it. Yeah. Thank you. What's your most flattering body feature? My most flattering body feature would be my face. Yeah. Considering all your many talents, which one talent do you wish you could add? The talent I wish I could add um, to my many talents would be soccer. I love soccer. Really? I wish I could play. <laughs> biggest moment of your career? The biggest moment of my career, um, I think it would be when I first produced my own movie. Yeah, my very first movie, Number One Fan. I produced it and that, it really meant a lot to me. Have you found the perfect assistant? I haven't found the perfect assistant yet um, because the show is still going on. So, if you're out there. <laughs> and what's the reason behind the perfect assistant? The reason behind the perfect assistant is because I'm a very busy person. I'm, uh, I'm a businesswoman, you know, I start acting, I do other stuff. 
so i need someone who can represent me if i'm busy doing other stuff you know they should be able to be that brain behind julia like you know be be me basically so um that was the the reason of um getting the perfect assistant reality show going yeah accomplishment you are most proud of hmm. that's a good one accomplishment i'm most proud of i think it's actually when i first i first um built my own house mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah Given the opportunity to be an African president for 72 days, what misconception about Africans will you change? Mm, okay. Misconception about Africans I will change will be we do not live on trees. <laughs> I know, they need to know that. <laughs> now, what's the biggest misconception about you? The biggest misconception about me is the fact that people think that I'm stuck up or I'm a snob. I'm not. Like, I'm so down to earth. I'm not a snob. Tell us about the Juliet Ibrahim Foundation. The Juliet Ibrahim Foundation actually started when um, my aunt was diagnosed of kidney failure. So I found out everything she went through trying to raise uh, money for kidney transplants and go through dialysis. So I had to just um, start up my own foundation to educate the public um, about what exactly kidney um, failure and kidney diseases are doing to people around the world. Yeah. Hey, Ma, what's for you? Welcome. Thank Please you. You're ready for your service after. Okay, I can take my Excuse drink. Me. <laughs> All right. That's right. Thank you. When was the last time you cried? The last time I cried. Hmm. That's a good one. Um, last time I cried, I, what should I tell you though? It's okay. my secret. <laughs> Kiss, holiday, and slap. Majid Michelle Van Vika John Dumelo. Okay, I will kiss Majid Michelle. I will slap Van Vika and holiday with John. John is crazy. Just because it's crazy? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, choose heels or flats? Um, heels. Pink or red? Red. Nails or lashes? Um, lashes. Favorite way to pass time? My favorite way to pass time is watching a movie. Yeah. Do you cook and what's your specialty? I cook. I cook so well. My specialty will always be um, jollof rice or like spaghetti jollof rice, something like that. What's yeah. your favorite Nigerian delicacy? My favorite Nigerian delicacy is. Um, Eba and Egusi. Yes. Okay, now put this in the correct order. Ghanaian, Nigerian, and Liberian jollof. Mm. Correct order. That's a tricky one. It's tricky. I would say Liberian jollof first. Because when I cook, I know I do more, my style is more of a Liberian jollof style. Then I'll go for Ghanaian because it's less spicy and less pepperish. I'm not a fan of pepper. Nigerian jollof has a lot of pepper. That's why I'll make it number three. Okay, so the yeah. most Nigerian thing you can say. The most Nigerian thing I can say would be um, Kilo Shale. <laughs> How many African countries have you visited? Um, wow. I've visited more than eight African countries, I think. Which African country are you looking forward to visiting? I want to visit um, Botswana. I heard it's lovely. So I think that's the next place I will be going to. Okay, so what's the currency in that country? Botswana, what's your currency? Say? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, is it rant? No, maybe, I guess. Okay, question from a fan. Is your brother single? My brother is... Yeah, he's single. Which fan is this? <laughs> yeah, he's single. Okay, now can you tell the viewers this interview is over in French? Okay, l'interview est terminée. A bientôt. Thank <laughs> you.